Galen Weston will be stepping out of the spotlight as Loblaw president and CEO. The corporation says it comes in anticipation of COO Robert Sawyer's planned retirement. Weston will be replaced by high-profile executive Perbank, who is the CEO of Denmark's largest retailer, a name some have found fitting given the company has seen record high profits at a time where Canadians like Lawrence Fox continue to face high inflation. They're still price gouging. These guys are making obscene profits in a year when, when, when you know, nothing else is affordable. It's so expensive for families, especially us. We have a large family, but the quality of the food is like not even there at all either. Weston himself received a pay bump of one point two million dollars last year after consultants hired by his family controlled company George Weston determined he was underpaid. It brought his annual salary to nearly eleven point eight million dollars. Why is it that he gets four hundred and thirty one times more pay than the median income earner of that of someone who is at that company? On a customer's $25 grocery basket, we earn just $1 in profit. Faced with allegations of price gouging that have not been proven, the top executive relentlessly defended the company on Parliament Hill last month. While the law of law front man is stepping down from his current role, he isn't going far from in front of the camera to now behind the scenes of the corporation. It's really to make Gellin Weston less of a target. Weston will remain chair of the board and continue to run George Weston Limited, which is law law's largest largest shareholder. He will certainly continue to exert a great deal of influence, I would imagine, given his his other positions. The CEO will leave his role at the end of the year. Brittany Rosen, Global News.